This right here is the Alibaphon. Ooh. Shout out to Robot797 on this one. It's an answering machine that was made in Munich in 1957. The sole purpose of the device is to play a recording if you're not at home and somebody tries to call you. Which is what the answering set number 1B was also used for. The answering set number 1B using a tape loop. The Alibaphon varies a little bit because it uses this. Now I know what you're thinking. Is that a vinyl? No it isn't. It's actually a tape. This is a magnetic record. And this is a record and read head from a tape player, basically. No, the big chunky erase head that looks like a mini guitar pickup. Let's listen to the message that Robot 797 has made. Turn it on. You have tried to reach this machine is not obsolete. We're currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the beep. Hello, how's it going? This arrived today. It's a Alibiphone. Alibiphone? Alibiphone? And it's an answering machine. It doesn't record answers. Uh, it just answers much like the answering set that is over uh, set up at the minute. The plan is, is this will be set up with it. Uh, a kind person by the name of Robot797 sent this over. They have done a video on it as well. And the link is below to that. There's actually quite a lot of information on the Alibiphone on the internet. It's... Uh, it's German, it's from Munich, and yeah, it also, apparently, there was an option to add a recording device to this as well, so record the messages as well. This merely just saves the messages, but it does it in a different way to the other uh, answering set that is set up, the, uh, the one, the, the GPO one, the UK one with the uh, tape loop that's wiggling around, that is basically just a, a commercial version of the announcer 9A. So I'll just take the top off, it's really interesting. For starters, it's got this uh, this connector, this type of phone connector. Luckily, um, we have this. It's a socket for it, a converter, an adapter. So this adapts over to our friendly uh, connector. We can plug it in so we can have it set up in the museum so people can use it and call it. But let's, uh, let's open it up. Actually, first, let's read. Let's read about it from uh, Robot797. Hello, here is the answer machine that I promised you. Um, the microphone is also the speaker. Uh, here we go. It has an on off, uh, that says on the front of this, and a three step selector, re record, playback, and phone, and a start button. To operate, you record, to record, you have it set to uh, the record setting and you click start and if the microphone's set up you speak into it or do whatever and it goes into that to play it back click start and to have it set up so it receives phone calls um you have it wired in there okay let's have a look on the inside because it is it's really really quite interesting yes uh look at that it's it's pretty amazing in there there's a couple of relays on this side capacitor a couple of transformers Looking a little green, but nothing too much to worry about. I'm not going to pull this apart because it already works so well. It would seem a shame to inspect right on the inside and accidentally break something. So, if you notice already, you'll notice that it's actually it's actually a disc. It's not a tape loop. It's nothing else. But this is, yeah, it's a flat disc that is, um, well, it's um, magnetic, uh, just like a tape, but set up in a flat disc manner. Like a vinyl, but a tape. You'll see here, this is like a, a little guitar pickup kind of thing. I'm, I'm thinking this is the erase head. And over here, this head, I think, doubles up as record and playback. I might be wrong. Uh, maybe one day we will have a closer look inside on the inside of this. But right now, just going to have a peek at it because it works so well. There's a pretty interesting setup of cams in here that all seem to turn on and off for three, four sec separate sections of starting and stopping. So I'm just going to turn it on, uh, plug it in. Let's get the uh, get the microphone plugged in. So let's uh, let's play the message. So I'm going to put it onto speaker. It's on speaker. Um, turn it on. Let it warm up. It seems to be halfway through the message. So it needs to get. Uh, as you can see, there's this uh, status bar, which actually is on the front here, that is directly coupled up to the arm. When it gets to the end, one of the cams end up stopping the actual message. I think it happened then. And then it slowly kind of just flicks back. It doesn't go all the way. It just kind of falls back down. And then when you put the start button. So let's have a listen to the message. You've tried to reach this museum is not obsolete. We're currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the beep. Is full. We can record messages. Please try again on a later.
later date. For anyone that is still listening, have a good day and a nice life. amount of people that are still listening, I say to you all, oh. I was going to show the record function, but uh, Robot797 Peter has already done such a good job on the message, it would be an absolute shame to record over it. From 1957, and uh, just like any good stuff back then, it's got the schematic on the inside of the enclosure. So if you want a quick peek at that, then there we go. So now fast forwards a little bit, it's now set up in this cabinet, there's usually a plastic front to it, it's got the answer and set below it, and then also the Alibaphone, and the Alibaphone, Alibaphone, yeah I think that's the closest, and there's uh, telephone lines connected around the back, so that means that we can call it up, and yeah, it'll be able to play. It's wired up to the telephone exchange, so you can call it from anywhere, but there are a couple of phones on top of it, so you can call them from the top as well. Please leave a message after.